Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here to the streets of New York City. But I am not in New York City. I am at Hollywood Studios slash MGM Studios. And this, as amazing as this is, there is something even more amazing that's actually following me. Look at this. Look at all these dapper folk. Are they following me? They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily Woo from Walt Disney World's Dapper Day. It looks like they're getting ready to do a massive photo shoot. They actually did one when I walked up. They actually did one in front of the building right there, which is actually modeled after a hotel in New York City. And now everyone is getting in the, the mood for dapperness and is going to take a photo in front of the New York City skyline. Look at this. Now, Dapper Day is an event. I know at Disneyland they do it twice a year, but I am not sure how often they do it here at Disney World. If you know, please leave a comment down below. Do they do it twice a year also at Disney World, just like they do at Disneyland? I am wearing my Disneyland 60th anniversary Diamond Celebration t-shirt. It is warm. It's very humid. The Florida sun is out in full effect. But this is not deterring anyone from dressing up in their best dapper attire. I must commend anyone who's wearing a top hat and a jacket and a tie and a long sleeve shirt today because Florida humidity is no joke, especially for someone who lived here for 25 years and then I moved to California on basically New Year's of this year and I have been acclimated to the non-humidity of California. So this is almost unbearable to stand from, go from the shade into the sun. So anyone that is actually dressed accordingly, dressed in their dapper attire, I must commend them because this is very warm. This is awesome. Look at this. So Dapper Day, happy Saturday by the way. Dapper Day 2015 Walt Disney World edition. Just look at everyone that is dressed up. Hello. Looking very nice and dapper. <laughs> Looking very dapper and nice. Hello. But you can see from this angle, you can see how potent the sun is coming down here. So let's just wander around and see. Let's walk down the main thoroughfare leading in the park. This is around kind of near the back of the park on the old New York Street, Streets of America, they are calling it now. Let's actually go and see if anyone is actually walking up into the front of the park and see if anyone has any sort of costumes on, or not costumes, but they actually are in there dapper attire accordingly as they are entering the park. I was actually going to wait till a little bit later to film this vlog, this unedited vlog, a vlog I do every single day, way past 1,000 days. I was actually going to wait a little while to film the vlog, but then I saw that congregation of dapper people and I thought, heck it, let's go ahead and just start the vlog now. So I'm basically on a whim. I started filming and we're going to walk up to the front of Hollywood Studios. And the thing that's actually really awesome is there used to be a huge Mickey Sorcerer's hat in front of the Chinese Theater. The Chinese theater, theater is resembled after the one on Hollywood Boulevard. Almost identical, very, very, very similar. Even has handprints in front of different celebrities that visited MGM Studios back in 1989, 1990, 1991, 1992. So a lot of people are getting their photos taken in front of that. So when we actually walk over there, we'll be able to see that as well. So let's just walk towards the Chinese theater. Head that way now and see who we can see. Along the way, you'll actually see a lot of these buildings which aren't even used anymore. Like this building is actually not even used anymore. A long time ago, this used to be like a Drew Carey sound show, which was actually pretty cool. It kind of actually makes me kind of sad that this is not even used. You can see this is just like all roped off and not even used. And then inside here, it's kind of an old throwback as well. You used to go inside these little rooms and it was completely pitch black. This is back in like 1990, 1991. These are memories from my youth. 
you would go inside there, you go in these little tiny rooms, you put these headphones on, you hear all these sounds, you hear Mickey talking, and you were kind of in your own element based on sound and not based on light. But look what it is now, it's actually just empty doors. These doors are not even used anymore. All those doors are actually used for storage now, so it kind of hurts my heart a little bit that old school MGM is moving on into the Hollywood Studios era and they're going to be tearing a lot of stuff down, putting in Star Wars and Toy Story Land, but even Walt Disney himself always said that Disneyland and Walt Disney World was all about progress and changing, so I definitely look forward to seeing what the new progress will be. That's right, this man right here always loved progress. Walt Disney, look at this. Walt Disney, you can actually get a picture next to Walt himself. Now, at Magic Kingdom and at Disneyland, they have the partner statue, and you can get a picture in front of the partner statue, Mickey and Walt, but you can't go up and touch it like you can actually touch Walt here at MGM. By the way, also, the Hyperion Theater, which now is actually a Frozen show, if you remove this sign, you would see the words right across there that would say Superstar Television. That's what I remember this theater as, the Superstar Television Theater, which is pretty crazy. Okay, enough talking about old days and progress and all that. Actually, we're gonna, actually that's not even true because we're gonna continue talking about the old days because we have gone back in time today for Dapper Day where everyone dresses in their best old school dapper attire and in front of the Chinese theater is no exception. Look at this. People are lining up to take a photo in front of this. The sorcerer's hat has been removed. The frozen stage has been removed. Now, I don't know if they removed this specifically for Dapper Day because they knew there were gonna be a lot of people out here wanting to get their picture in front of this. But this, for people who have been out here for years and years and years, this is an awesome sight. The fact that you can actually visually see the Chinese theater when you walk in to Hollywood Studios slash MGM Studios, you can actually see with your own eyes you can see unobstructed the Chinese theater is a very wonderful thing. And all these people are actually taking full advantage of that opportunity because you can see they're actually lined up. They actually have someone with a photo pass there, a cast holder taking pictures. And everyone is standing in the heat to get a picture, a fantastic photo in front of that. As you can see, people are still streaming in. Justin Scard is supposed to be here today, I believe. He's also going to be doing some vlogs probably some periscopes and stuff. I will be doing periscopes as well. Please add me on Periscope, Adam the Woo on Periscope. I will be hanging out with Justin a little bit later. I do not know how long I'm gonna be staying here. There you go, look at this guy. You're very dapper, sir. You're very, you're about as dapper as I am. I'm no dapper here. <laughs> I just take dapper photography. Yes, my, my, the, the sweat that is gonna be dripping. I'm doing a Dude. vlog. The sweat that's gonna be dripping is gonna be my dapper. Now I'm gonna be today. famous because of you. But it's very awesome that you can actually, uh, that you can actually see the Chinese theater, and I'm wondering, do you? What is your opinion? Do you think they actually maybe removed the Frozen stage recently, specifically because they knew Dapper Day was happening, and people would probably be wanting to take their picture in their dapper attire in front of there? Honestly, no. 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 I don't think they did it on that purpose. Now they did it to get because they moved this the Frozen inside. Okay, so there you go. All right, so the you have you have expressed your opinion. My opinion is probably wrong. Well, nice talking to you. <laughs> nice talking to See you later. Okay, let's wander around. Look at Goofy over here. He's looking a little bit kind of dapper, semi-dapper. Look at Goofy right over there. I've never seen a Goofy dress like that with the top hat on and his long sleeve yellow shirt. Look at Goofy right there. Usually I see a lot of Goofy running around. You see Goofy runs around, but he's in casual attire. He's not so casual today. He's a little bit dressed up. Looking pretty fantastic. Looking pretty awesome over there. And what else is awesome? This. Leave some comments as well as what you think. Do you think that they actually removed the Frozen stage because Dapper Day was coming up? I was here about a month and a half ago and the Frozen stage was there replacing the Sorcerer's Hat. But now the Sorcerer's Hat has been removed and the Frozen stage has been completely removed. So what is your opinion? Leave some comments down below. Please check out my social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and all those wonderful things. Like I said, I'll be hanging out with Justin scarred a little bit later. These people looking very dapper. His beard, that guy's beard is almost basically what my beard was until I actually shaved it. Until I shaved it recently. You can see there's actually some 
something going on over here as well. There's some some players inside of the row, some like some cast members dressed up doing the theming of the old timey. They they do this every day. This is like a dapper thing that they do every day. Not specifically on the Saturday Walt Disney World's dapper day. There's always fun characters roaming the streets like this guy here. Look at this. Here is a police officer. There's a police officer here escorting this guy. What looks to be like a little bit of a fire truck. But I can't tell, like a police officer driving a fire truck, which you don't normally see. I do not know if that is an official police vehicle or not, but I guess maybe he has commandeered. Maybe he has commandeered that car. You know when a police officer does not have a car and they need to use a civilian's car, they commandeer it? Maybe that is what happened. They actually, maybe they actually borrowed that car. They commandeered that car. Hollywood Studios is awesome. MGM Studios is my childhood and my teenage years. I have a lot of memories here. It's very cool to be wandering around again. It's very cool that Dapper Day is actually here at Hollywood Studios. And at Disneyland, it's usually at Disneyland, so it's a little bit different approach. And, of course, the most dapper. We have found the most dapper. We have found the most dapper. Get over here, you crazy man. You are the most dapper I've here. seen all day. What do you think of everyone I, else? Let me tell you, I am the mother of all dappers. You are? Wait, that came out wrong. That came out way wrong. Yes, well, I can't. I look around. There's some fantastic dapperness around. What do you world. think of my, what do you think of my um, dapper? I think your I... dapperness is so cool. It's too cool for school. I think I don't think you're telling. I think you're fibbing a little oh, bit. Oh, why would I do that? It's okay to fib a little I bit, not, to bend the truth on I Dapper never Day. lie, but I might not always tell the truth. Well, you're looking very nice. Continue Love all you on. people. Continue looking dapper. Train everyone in the ways you. of the dapperness. Absolutely. All right, awesome. Okay. <laughs> this guy's actually filming. You're filming all the dapper. What do you think of all these dapper people walking in? Well... Oh, Dapper? Is that what it is? It's, da it it's Dapper Day. I thought it was Damper Day. Damper Day. Wear the clothes. You're going to be damper by the end of the day. I'm already damper. I'm so I'm odd. Damper. I'm that's wearing what I'm, short sleeves. That's what I'm saying. That this American language, I mean, I think I speak gooder than many of them do. But you dress like this every day. Well, when I don't do Normal. laundry, yes, the same clothes every day. But, you know, I get it done now. Hello. Wait, wait, wait. You must sit in the chair. You have to sit in the chair. You need to get over there. Sit in the chair right there. You. That guy is awesome. This is awesome. Look at this. She has a little parasol, the umbrella. Everyone is dressed in their Sunday best, which is interesting because it's not even Sunday. Today is Saturday, but everyone is in their Sunday best. I'm going to let you guys go. Check down below for the links to my social media. Even though I'm uploading this, this will not be in HD. I'll be uploading this from Wi-Fi and it will probably be in 360 DPI and not HD 720. I apologize, but because I am out here all day, in order to get the vlog up, it will not be processed till later tonight. So actually those links I was mentioning down below will probably not be till later, but if you wanna know the links, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Adam the Woo, Facebook slash The Daily Woo, add me. If you're out here, say hello, hang out with me. I'm gonna let you guys go. See you guys later, goodbye.